Many people, especially young people, have a sense of dread and hopelessness when they contemplate the enormity of the problem. On a spiritual level, what inner attitude will serve us best in these difficult times? On a practical level, in the outer world, what can those listening to us today do to make meaningful action to hopefully improve conditions? First of all, uh, we are responsible to God only for our souls and our actions. If somebody murders somebody in Siberia, you and I will not be held responsible on the day of judgment for it. But we are responsible for what we can do. And so the young people should know that the hands of God are never cut off from their lives. As I've said, wherever you go, when you lift your head, there's still the sky. And this is a beautiful poem of Jalal Din Rumi that every young Muslim should know by heart. Please, I'm please. sorry if I tried it for you. Etisali bi takayof bi qiyas hast rabbun nasra ba jan nas. There is a connection, etisal. Bi takayof, literally without being able to ask how, without knowing how. Bi qiyas, without any analogy. Hast Rabbanasra Bajananas. There exists between the Lord of man or of the soul or of the human being and the soul of the human being. That is, we all have a direct connection with God, which we don't even know how. It's a direct connection that exists. This is the poem of Jaladin Rumi. The young should remember that. That no matter where we are. No matter how we're brought up, whether we're brought up in a religious family in Lahore or an agnostic family in San Francisco, that nexus always exists. In the same way that wherever we are, if we lift our head and open our eyes, we see the sky above us, transcendence. But we do have to open our eyes and lift our head. Yes. That part, (laughs) God has left to us. And that is the grandeur of the human state that we are given the freedom not to lift our head, not to open our eyes. And if you're real philosophers, we will understand the very fact that we can reject God is the proof of God. That's why Meister Eckhart said, the more you blaspheme, the more you praise God. These are very, of course, a subtle and uh, difficult metaphysical fa- issues that I cannot get into a talk like this. But I thought I would mention that, that young people should not lose hope. There's always hope. And we see terrible things in the world. We should uh, care for what we can do. Mm-hmm. We can do. Of course, we commiserate, we pray for others. Rumi says, Harcha Agaltar, Rangas Dartar. The more intelligent you are, the more does your skin turn yellow, that is, from worrying about what's going on. A person who's uh, just like a zombie walking around here in Washington doesn't care if uh, the Volga River suddenly becomes polluted and millions of fish die. Right. But a person who's aware reads about it and worries about it. But we should leave things also in the hands of God. And we should pray for people, for calamities, for animals and so forth. Do what we can. I always tell my students when they ask me, I said, God does not expect from us what we cannot do, but he does expect from us what we can do.